Hi, Jeff with Lake Light, and today we're going to be troubleshooting why our solar panel is not putting out any power. Typically the cause of this is a blown diode, which can result from the positive and negative wires being left out all winter, shorting out. This can generate some heat through the diode and eventually blow it. Other causes may be a short circuit, uh, incorrect wiring, or wiring your solar panel backwards, lightning strike or static electricity, or a blown circuit in your motor back feeds power to the solar panel. There are numerous causes, but today we're going to show you how to troubleshoot and fix your solar panel. Now, in order to test if our panel is working or not, we're going to need a simple voltmeter. You can usually pick these up at local hardware stores for anywhere from five to ten dollars. Now, what we're going to do is check if we're getting any power out of the end of our solar panel wires. Now, some reasons why we might not be getting power are again because the diode may have blown and shorting it out, or possibly our wire is old, or we've broken our wire, or, or there may be a short in our wire. So, we're going to simply hook up the red positive to the wire here, and the black to the negative output. And as you can see here, we get no voltage. So this means either our wire is bad or our diode is blown. Now that we've checked and we have zero volts at the end of the wire, let's flip our solar panel over and simply slide open the junction box cover. Now we can see our two terminals for hooking up the red and black positive and negative wires as well as our diode in between here. Now at a quick glance our diode looks like it might be burnt. However, let's check to make sure our wire is not the cause. We're simply going to disconnect our voltmeter here and connect it inside the junction box here and we'll see if we get voltage or not. If we get voltage our wire is shorted out. If we do not get any voltage, then our diode is blown. As you can see, we still have zero volts when we expose the solar panel to the sunlight. So therefore, the cause of our solar panel not working is that the diode is shorted out. Let's flip our solar panel back over. Disconnect our voltmeter. Now, you can see the diode between the negative and positive terminals. And as we suspected, it looks like our diode is blown. It's got kind of a burnt color to it. Now the silver line should always be touching the positive side, so we always know that this side is positive. Now we simply are going to cut the diode out. And discard of the diode. Now we're going to hook up our voltmeter again inside the junction box, we're going to try and see if we can get voltage again. As you can see, we now get voltage. Now this is one of our 10 watt, 12 volt solar panels. So we should be getting anywhere from 17 to 22 volts output. Now that applies for any 12 volt charging solar panel. Our voltage should be anywhere from 36 to 44 volts on our 24 volt panels. Now let's disconnect our voltmeter and try to see if we can get power at the end of our wires. Put the cover back on the junction box and let's connect our voltmeter to the end of the wires here. Expose the solar panel to the sunlight and as you can see we now have voltage. So this confirms that our solar panel is properly working, our wire is good. Now, you may be questioning whether or not you need the diode in the back of the junction box on the solar panel. The diode's purpose is to prevent discharging at night by the solar panel. However, with these small solar panels, the amount of discharge is only equivalent to a few minutes of charging the following day. So, in other words, they are pretty insignificant. However, it is recommended that you use one. For best charging performance, Lake Light does recommend that you replace the diode, available for purchase online. However, we understand that many of you may not have the capability of soldering a new diode into the back junction box of your solar panel. Therefore, we recommend our nice new wiring kit, which includes an inline diode on the positive line. This prevents you from having to solder one into the back of the solar panel. You also get our new wiring kit, which includes a double quick connect system, which makes it convenient for removing and installing your solar system each year. 
Now, in order to connect our new wiring kit, we simply flip our solar panel over and remove the cover on the junction box. Now, your wires may or may not be soldered to the terminals here. If they are soldered, you can simply cut the wires loose. Next, remove the clamp holding the wires in the box. Pull your old wire out and discard of it. Now, we're going to take our new wiring kit solar panel connection, which includes the inline diode. We're going to feed our fork terminals through the hole in the junction box. Now we want to give ourselves a little bit of slack here so we have some working room. Now on the inside of the box you can see a positive and negative marking. Or if you remember where your positive and negative wires were, you can simply reconnect them there. If you are not sure, you can also check with a voltmeter to check the polarity. Generally on all of our solar panels, the positive is on the right side when you are facing the junction box with the hole at the bottom. Now simply loosen the clamping screws. And we're going to put our fork terminals underneath the screw. Make sure to tighten to get a good connection. Now we want to position our wires in the channel for the clamp. Now we like to put the hump of the clamp facing down to give us a little bit more pressure on the wires. Now reinstall the cover. Now we want to check and see if we have voltage out of our solar panel. We can simply reconnect our voltmeter to the positive and negative. And as you can see, when we flip the solar panel around, we now have power. Now we are going to connect our extension wire and we want to confirm that our red wire meets our red wire and our black wire meets our black wire. Now take the battery side connection with the ring terminals and we also want to confirm that our red meets red and black meets black. Now in order to double confirm that our polarity is correct at the end of the wires we're going to reconnect our voltmeter. and we're going to flip over a solar panel and expose it to sunlight and as you can see we have a positive voltage so everything is okay. 